Hey everybody, Tattoo For You Richard here, and it's time for a Kits, Bits, and Swag review. That's right. When the world has gone to chaos. When Demon Primarch spew forth from the warp like last night's dinner. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? They've already ransacked one world, Fenris. Then they went to Cadia and said, Pfft. Squish. Then what do you do? What do you do? I'll tell you what you You drop crap. You summon forth the mighty Primark of Ultramar. Oh. Tasty. We's gonna unbox this and show it to you, along with Vac. That's right. It's party time, table down style. Let's go. All right, everybody. So here we go. Lovely thing. Wait a minute. This isn't what you showed us earlier, Richard. I know. I'm just kidding. But this is where it all started. A little teased photos from here led to this and then finally to this da -da. the triumvirate of the imperium nope wrong words my bad of the primark there we go fixed it we edited that in there so yeah, here's the awesome box set that is the Triumvirate of the Primarch. Comes with Cypher. And then, um, what is this guy called again? Ba, 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 Master Vol Grand Master Valdus. And then, of course, Robute Gilemon. Apparently that's how you say his name according to Games Workshop's videos. Awesome, awesome bases. Let's go ahead and show you the back real quick. So we got Cypher and all his goodness. Then we got Valdus and all his goodness. And then this box is too big and my camera's too close. There is Gilliamon and all his goodness. Now, we're just going to set that off over there for a minute. Now, what we have here is the Gathering Storm 3 book, Rise of the Primarch. So we know, I'm, I'm behind on the story, but I know what happened. Yeah, I'm creasing my book. It's okay. That we got, first it was starting with Cadia. All the chaos comes to Cadia. Cadia gets destroyed. And then you have the dawning of the new Eldar cats who rescued the Space Marines, it seems like. I don't know for sure. Like I said, I, I haven't read it yet, so I don't know. I just get little snippets and pieces. And actually, this is the first book I bought in a long time. The only reason I did it is because we had the money for it right now. But so this is after Katie has fallen. And then so then uh, from what I understand is... Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Um, he, uh, we'll, we'll talk to that when we, t we talk about him, who all made his armor and all this stuff. But you've got the story, you got chapter one, Ultramar Defiant. I'm curious to see what all that's about. Of course, you've got your. Wonderful space scene, which I always love these. I still wish they would do a giant poster of them all. Yeah, all this through chapter one, the siege of Hera. So it sounds like the chaos goes after Ultramar. I don't know for sure. And there we have Gilemon. This is looks like him back in the day. Yeah, that's his old Primark suit. Does he? Does he have a cool Primark suit? Yes, but I've spoiled nice. it. The artwork in here is phenomenal. And this this right here, this is when we've seen this teased around. And uh, I wonder where he's sitting. You know, uh, where this is. 
But here, it, I mean, that just looks cool. I mean, here you have him sitting there in the throne. And then up here, just all this artwork and detail, the golden. Yeah, it's just, it's amazing. I wonder if this is a... Uh, no, it's not the same throne. That picture, I, one of my favorite pictures from all this is, uh, <clears throat> it's McCrag, uh, not McCrag, what is his name? Um, <laughs> No. Oh, the chapter master that took over. The, the guy with the two power fists or gauntlets or whatever. Anyway, it's got him sitting in a chair and the ultramarine. Yeah, it looks, just looks really cool anyway. So that kind of reminds me of that a little bit. But I like this. is This is like that heavy as the head that wears the crown sort of thing. Just what, it's just the feeling I get from this picture here. And from like some of the, the quotes that they've pulled out of here about Gilliamon not being happy about the state of the Imperium. And him feeling at, like sadness because he didn't make it in time to save Cadia and to, to Terra. He had, yeah. Just all this stuff. He never made it to Terra back in the heresy days. But uh, here we have the second chapter, War Storm. Let go, please. Kiddo, I'm trying to check the page. So we got Battle for McCrag, more pictures of the McCrag solar system. And all that good stuff in there. I don't know what that is, but that looks rad. Again, like I said, the artwork is amazing. Go clean your arm off. You got jelly on it. Look at and here team. we have Gilliamon fighting Zinch. Looks like a lot of that going on in there. And some other chaos in there. This guy looks like he's corn. I mean, that looks like just a chaos. Maybe, yeah, yeah more Zinch. Napkin. Just a minute, baby. Yeah. Beautiful pictures. I mean, of course, you know, you know that's going to be in there. Then you got Chapter 3, Rise of the Primark, and here you got uh, Cypher. Really cool demon picture. I think I've seen that one before, though. More Cypher stuff. This guy looks like Legion of the Damned, or I wonder if this is one of the Fallen, I guess they're calling it. But that looks like Legion of the Damned. I don't know. Look at that. Gilliamon fighting a big old Bloodthirster. Yep, it's a big old corn demon. What's a corn Gods demon? of War. Yeah, I'm going to have fun reading this. And I know I'm flying through this, guys, but I don't want to show everything. Yeah, it's Gilliamon fighting his brother. Brother against brother. Brother against brother. Sisters of Silence. Sisters of Silence. Throne World. Oh, look at all this good stuff. He got some custodes in here. Oh, look at me. I'm Gilliamon. Gilliamon. <laughs> You got the cool stuff in here, cool stuff in here. More awesome heavy metal pictures, heavy metal. Oh, here you have pictures of the Fallen. Ideas for them. I kind of skip. And you got the rule, chapter four is the rules. So you've got all the goodness and stuff, um, how to play with the characters. I was going to go to the data slates real quick. Oh, these are cool. You've got your uh, missions and stuff in here. Really rad. I like the way they're set up. you got Gilliamon's Throne. Chaos Deployment Zone. Gilliamon, Gilliamon, Gilliamon. Gilliamon. Like this one's kind of interesting. you got Imperial Deployment Zone. you got Chaos. Oh, Corn, And you got Zinch. And then you've got the Webway Portal up here. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. Lots of that in there, and then we have we got the rules for Cipher. I'm not gonna show all that stuff because that's yeah you can get that anywhere. Um, you've got the Fallen, and then you've got the Formation Fallen Champions, which is Cipher and one to three units of Fallen. I'll give you a special rules. Fallen leader, any unit from the formation that is within 12 inches of Cypher has the and they shall know no fear and stubborn special rule. Seriously, cat? Seriously, cat? And then we got Grandmaster Valdus. And then he gets the bulwark of pur purity formation for him. Um, and it's one librarian, 
two units of paladins, and two units of gray knights. Uh, it doesn't say you have to have Baldus in it. So, is he? He's a librarian, so maybe you could put him as a librarian instead. I don't know, or just run him separate. I guess he is an independent character. Um, special rules: Bulwark with. While three or more units from this formation are on the battlefield, you can add one to the result when making Deny the Witch Tests. And Aura of Purity, while three or more units from this formation are on the battlefield, if any unit from this formation successfully manifests the Banishment Psychic Power, all units with the, the Daemon Special Rule within 12 inches of the any unit from this formation are affected. Pretty cool. Grey Knight's Appendix. And here you have Gillimon. Are we almost done with that book? Almost, yeah. Can we're gonna go to... to the next book? Well, no, I'm not going to go to other books. Okay, here we have uh, Triumphant of the Imperium. That's the formation. So it's like the three Cypher, Baldus, and Gillimon. And then you have Victrix Guard, which is like, I guess, a uh, super duper veteran guard. Oh, I guess I should tell you the rules for... The special rules for the, the tri... 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 Over, uh, Touched by fate, you can reroll one failed saving throw each turn for each model from this formation. Primark. Primark from the... While Grandmaster... And an inspiring presence. While Grandmaster Valdus and Robot Gillimon are on the bat battlefield, all friendly units with... The army of Imperium faction have the stubborn special rule. I don't know what the stubborn special rule is, but it sounds good. Yeah, the Victrix Guard is like a seems like it's a souped up veteran squad. Um, it's uh, Captain Sakaris, one unit of Honor Guard, four units of Stern Guard veterans or Vanguard veterans in any. All right, guys, I'm back real quick. Um, so like I said, this is a veteran squad. It looks like you've know, got all this stuff you can put in there. And then the special rules, real quick, are fight like a demigod. Fight like demigods. Add one to the weapon skill and ballistic skill characteristics of all models in this formation. Pretty cool. Primarch's chosen. While a unit from this formation is within three inches of Gillimon, he can make lookout sir rolls as if he was part of that unit. Awesome. So yeah, then you got the forces of Ultramarines. And you've got your breakdowns over here and all that other jizzy jazz. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. That is the Gathering Storm. Looking forward to seeing what happens and why Gillimon's back. Who did this? Who did that? What demon Primar is coming next? And going to destroy the Gilly Imperium Mon, of Man? So pretty, but in the meantime, let's look at this guy. This awesome, beautiful box. I mean, look at that. Ooh, it's so pretty. So, so very pretty. And I like the way they're doing these boxes. They're pretty cool. I've seen a couple on uh, YouTube already. But they have a sleeve. So it's a sleeve. Slide that off. And then you've got the awesome box art. Look at that. That is mega cool. That wraps around. And you got this stuff, which is interesting. It's a clock. What does this clock mean? Is this the ticking down to the end times? Dare I say it? No, I'm not going to say it. Because it's not true. So let's see what's in here. This is the cool part of the box. They've been doing this with the tray. We've got this cool little plastic tray. Here we have the instructions. Nice color instructions. It's got your rules in the back. Tells you how to put everybody together. You got Cypher versus Gillimon. Shows you how to put him together. Cypher, and then I guess Valdus is this last page. Yep, there's Valdus. Instructions, and then you get this cool piece of art. I wouldn't mind getting a frame for this. That's the same one that's on the front of the box, the interior box. Cipher, Gillimon, and Baldus. I keep forgetting this guy's name. So let's go on to the sprues. Get your three bases. We 
got Gillimon, Baldus, and Cypher. Now let's go with. Okay, we got Baldus first. So here is Valdus' sprue. Really nicely done. I like it. I like that hammer. I have a thing for hammers. They're really cool. The bludgeoning devices. He'd make a pretty rad librarian. I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet. Because most of these guys in this box, I'm actually going to convert them into something else. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this cat yet. We'll see. It's a really cool model. Now we got Cypher. Now Cypher, here's his face. Sorry about the light over here. I'm at the dining room table, so I don't have very good light right now. Um, so here's his legs. I'm, I don't even know what's going on in this whole sprue. It's all crazy over here. So we got his one gun. This is the hand reaching for the gun. Pack is right here with the sword. And was the sword of the lion is what this is called, I guess. What I've been told. So. Yeah, I don't know a lot about Cypher. I had the old metal model, but now this plastic model is way super sick. I really, really like it. Now, again, I'm converting him. Um, in 30K, they have these things called uh, Moritots. Moritats, whatever. They're like basically dual wielding shooter guys, like gunslingers. So I kind of thought about making him one of them, like a special one or something. But the issue I'm going to have is with the sword. Because the sword is molded onto the backpack. If you look at the backpack, it's actually the pack itself is a sheath. Like the sheath is built into it and it slides down. And then part of it's on his back too, on his cape. So I'm going to have to play around with that. But it's going to be pretty fun. You'll see that coming later. <clears throat> Apologize, my sniffles are coming back. So with Gillimon, you get three sprues. So on this sprue here, we have the base cover, the Eagle, Dead uh, Space Marine. This looks like a lot of stuff on the base right here. This is your base details. Here's your little uh, torches and stuff. Those look really cool. Got hoses, this bolter. I don't understand what the deal with the bolter, why the bolter has something that looks like it should be a flamer on there. But it does, whatever. Um, and then we got his legs, his body here. Here's the gauntlet piece. Here we've got the uh, sword of the emperor. Yep, this is the emperor's own flaming sword. Pretty cool. And then we got on the last sprue. My enthusiasm is lacking right now because I'm just a sniffle box of snuffleness. Here we got more. I really like the way his armor is. Um, supposedly his armor was made by, again, spoiler alert, uh, Call. Basarius Call. Um, really ornate and cool. We got his backpack with the wings and stuff. This goes over top of it. Yeah, dude, this is really cool, man. This guy's going to be fun. You get two head options. Um, you've got the face, open face, and then you've got a helmeted face. Now, I like them both. Now, again, I'm going back. Like I said, I was going to convert these. This is going to be the Primark for my 11th Legion. So I'm going to do a lot of conversion on him, a lot of hiding the Ultramarine logos and stuff like that to create... My uh, special Primark, we're not going to talk about who he is yet, that's not what this is about. Um, and the same thing with this, this is going to be another 30k thing that I'm going to do for the Cypher. Not a bad deal. Box was 90 I believe, US. 
but of course you get discounts if you get them other places so anyway guys um we're gonna end this up now my kiddos are running around i want to get over deal with them take me some medicine get this sniffle factor going away but guys i love you i hope you enjoyed this video um let's see what they're gonna have coming out next man i'm really excited to what the next step is in this because i haven't seen any leaks any sneaks anything and i know next week's goodies are a lot of 30k stuff coming out so we'll see what's going to be coming out soon for 40k like we're what their next step in this this gloriousness is dare i say more demon primarchs <laughs> i can't wait to see mortarion come on mortarion i didn't say that guys i love you i thank you so so very much i'm gonna get to my beautiful wife and say hi to her um Keep rocking that nerd life, my friends. I'll see you next time.